chapter 20. I want to begin reading this morning at verse 19 as we end our work week in the Word of God. The Bible said, the scribes and the chief priests tried to lay hands on him that very hour, and they feared the people, for they understood that he spoke this parable against them. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be righteous in order that they might catch him in some statement so that they could deliver him to the rule and the authority of the governor. They questioned him, saying, Teacher, we know that you speak and teach correctly, and you are not partial to any, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But he detected their trickery and said to them, show me a denarius, whose likeness and inscriptions does it have? And they said, Caesar's. He said to them, then render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were unable to catch him in a saying in the presence of the people, and being amazed at his answer, they became silent. You know, typically, when we reference this um, passage, we... We talk about the idea that as Christians, we are to pay our taxes. And certainly there is, um, as citizens of this country, we have a duty um, to pay our taxes, to, to pay what is lawful to the government. So I'm not debating that whatsoever. Now, I will say here in this context, I, I, I do believe that, that, that Jesus, he's speaking here to a people that would have been very reluctant to pay this tax, especially. There would have been a lot of resentment as they had to submit themselves to Roman rule. And certainly, we know that uh, that certainly wasn't some type of godly leadership. So certainly, as Christians, we ought to pay um, and, and give our government what is do them. But I think maybe what we leave off sometimes is the last part of that, where Jesus says, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. So number one, are you giving government what is due them? I got a feeling that you are. But the next question, are you giving the Lord what is due him? In light of all that he's done for us, are you giving him what is due him? Are you giving him all you got? Are you serving the Lord with all uh, that you have? That's what he deserves. That's what is due him. Something to think about. Would you pray with me, please? Our Father in heaven, Father, for another week in your word, Father, we are most thankful. Father, thank you again for opportunities such as these to open up your word together. Even in this technology, Father, we're thankful for it. We pray that these types of opportunities would continue, Father, if it be your will. Help us to be honest with ourselves. Help us to contemplate, Father, with wisdom today, these things that we've talked about. May you always come first. May we give you what is due to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.